Hey, how's it going? It's Divian and Jackie from Say It With Music 987 Only The Hits. And today, we've got Neon Trees with us. Ah. Tyler and Brandon. Yes. Welcome to Singapore. It's Thanks your first time us. here. It is. Um, how are you guys feeling about it so far? It's so beautiful and clean. And um, I made the comment before we walked in that I, I think I could live here. There's, um, I don't know, it's just cool. There's great fashion. Yeah. <laughs> well, we I'm potentially moving. converted you? P probably. Okay. <laughs> I may move here. Okay. And uh, have you had any taste of the food so far? Well, we went down to the Newton um, uh, Hawking uh, Food Court. Yeah, yeah, and we, um, I'm I'm vegetarian, vegan diet, so I I um, it's hard to find stuff. So I ate, ended up eating like Indian food, which was really spicy, and really oh, okay. good. So it tasted good. Yeah, I ate that as well, but I also tried some of the grilled stingray. How was that? Ooh. Yeah, it was good. It was good <laughs> with some chili sauce on it. Yeah. I'm surprised that you guys like chili. You actually take spicy food. I love spicy okay. food. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, right. uh, so we've got a bit of a food challenge oh, here. We've got three gosh. types of food, um, and we're gonna have you, uh, if you don't mind, try. And it's veggie, it a right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, <laughs> then we're gonna get you to guess the What names. is that? That's soup. Well, they all have names probably that you're not familiar with, so that's the challenge. We're gonna give uh, you the names of them, and oh, then I you like try them, okay. and then See what you, you think place them. It. Yeah. I'm, more, I'm excited. Ooh, this is <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Uh, Okay. This is fun, the big reveal. Don't worry, we won't poison crazy? you. It's it's all edible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we've got three names. Um, Kaya, Tao Swan, and Bratan Bomb. Okay, and I heard about Kaya Toast. Kaya Toast? Yeah, is that one of them? That's one of them. Okay, so I think that's Kaya Toast. That's absolutely right, yeah. Okay. Right. I was told to try it. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's in it? There's butter in there. There's butter mm -hmm. and, and kaya. It's like a staple for, uh, we use it for breakfast mm. a lot in Singapore. Cool. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that's kaya. Which one do you figure is brata bomb? <laughs> now, these two things are the same, right? Yeah, Correct. they're the same. Well, now, what's the other? The other one is tau suan. Yeah, that's bomb. absolutely correct. Well done. Right. So um, it's it's uh, an Indian dish, uh, also like a staple food, and this one's got milk and honey in it. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's dough, milk and honey. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try. I don't usually do dairy, so I'm gonna. Oh. Okay. Pass on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Milk and honey in there. I bet that's good, right? Yeah. Tasty. What do you think, Sweet. Brandon? Mm -hmm. Good. Good. <laughs> and the last one is Tao Suan. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a bean based thing. It's like a dessert yeah. as well over bean here. Bean based if you like it. Like sure. So this is a warm dessert that yes. we usually have after meals. Oh, it's a dessert? After mm. meals and stuff. Oh, wow. It's sweet as well. Look at that. It's I had no gooey. idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now. Not, not really a fan. It's like, oh, it's kind of like an oatmeal. Mm. Taste? I it's don't more love traditional it. as well. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the texture, though? Is it it's a bit weird? It's a little weird? like an eyeball. Oh, it's <laughs> a little like an eyeball. You eat eyeballs? No. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, but so I would imagine that. <laughs> we're from a contemporary... Like the Kaya <laughs> Toast? <laughs> yes. Please, go ahead. Uh, we're from a bit of a contemporary hits radio station. Cool. We play a lot of Neon Trees. Mm -hmm. Thank we, you. We do a request and dedication show yeah. as well. Our listeners, your fans, mm -hmm. are always requesting... Always for requesting for your songs. Thank you. Thank so uh, it's, it's, it's really cool. Uh, now, of course, Singapore is a cosmopolitan country. We've got all sorts of races, and um, we've also got different languages. And, and so we've, we have this thing called Singlish, and everything's a bit of a mishmash. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to teach you a couple of words. Uh, yeah. I'd love to know <laughs> what to say, yeah. Okay, so the first word is bagus. Bagus. Any idea what it means? Bogus. <laughs> close. Maybe like cool or like cool. Oh, yeah, actually, like quite awesome. Close. Close. This bagus place is, is bagus. So yeah, it means you, something good. Uh, bagus is good in, in Malay. Said awesome. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, cool. Like really good. Really good. Okay. And uh, the second word is walawi, or the phrase walawi. <laughs> walawi is an expression yeah. of uh, exclamation. We have like what's up? Or? Uh, no, it literally means my dad. dad. <laughs> literally, literally translated, but it's so like everyone in Singapore uses it. My wow, dad, this place is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind <laughs> of oh, like my god, oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. So, okay, right. makes sense. Yeah. So, um, xiao zabo is the next phrase. Xiao zabo. 
Mm. Any idea what that means? But at all, you want to take a shot in the dark. The, the sights. <laughs> well, <laughs> you can call it that if you want. Uh, it's literally translated. It means crazy woman or crazy lady. Absolutely. So <laughs> she loves the crazy lady. There you go. And uh, we have Bodo as well. Bodo. Bodo is a Malay word. Bodo. Any idea what it means? I'm going to keep this so yeah. I can okay. go for it. shout at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Bodo. No, I don't know what that means. Bodo is dumbass. Yeah. Yeah. So I won't say that a lot. No, no, I won't. not so much. <laughs> but I will call him that yeah. a lot. Bodo. Bodo. <laughs> Might Bodo. want to steer clear of Bodo tonight when I won't say concert. Bodo unless yeah. someone throws like a uh, stone like, at yeah, me. Yeah, I'll say Bodo. <laughs> and uh, finally is a uh, Sibe Steady. Sibe Steady. Yeah. yeah, that's how they. That's how we say it. Well, it's it's well really steady. I mean, mm -hmm. like you're really cool. Essentially, yeah. I love that. Uh, but but the local locals say it that way, like Sibe Steady. Sibe basically is very yeah. Like extremely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like I'm extreme. keeping this. So okay. Go for it. Go for it. On stage, you would say, uh, Walawe. 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 You got it. Walawe. See that steady. Yeah, like you can say, the, the crowd is Sibe steady. Yeah. yeah ah, like they'll, they'll go nuts. They'll yeah, go nuts. they'll go insane. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to try that line? Uh, yes. Just the oh, yeah, yeah. And, and see how it goes. <laughs> Hello, we're neon trees. Walawe. This place is. Walao e. Walao e. Walao e. See, it's a... Walao e. Walao e. That's right. This yeah. place is baga bagus. 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 We love the Siacha boys. <laughs> si besteri, <laughs> <laughs> Ella. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That, that was, was really great. Good. That was cool. great. Okay. Um, okay. So, want to get on? Yeah. yeah. Will I am. Well, I am, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, down to business. Um, for those of us who don't this know... This wasn't even business. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, we hope you had fun doing well, it. I had a so. blast. Uh, for those of us who don't know already, why the name Neon Trees? When I was a kid, um, teenager, I would hang out with my friends at this place called In-N-Out Burger oh, um, yeah. In, yeah. in my town. And this one was one of the early ones, and so it had these neon palm tree lights all over oh, okay. inside. And we were making jokes that that'd be a cool band name and we pretended to be that band for a couple of days and then it never <laughs> happened but later when we needed a band name we had a list and neon trees just sounded cool and later when ban brandon actually joined the band though he was like wait i think my dad like because his dad does neon work oh, okay. he's like i think my dad actually built those lights in that restaurant wow and i was like what and it was like years before we even knew each other yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and so his dad actually built those very lights Wow, so, it was like so a in weird and out Burger brought you guys Written in the stars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's That's funny awesome. how the, the ideas come to you in, in joints like that, like burger mm. joints or pancake houses or yeah. something yeah. like that. It's pubs for me. I think oh. some of the best band names are just random yeah. jokes that that maybe we like think are silly, but people think take really seriously. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. whatever. Last night I watched the, the new documentary with the Foo Fighters, right. and at the very you know it talks about all their success and all the huge things they've done. And finally, at the very end, Dave Grohl says, "You know, if I would have known that this was going to become what it was, I certainly would have named it something better than Foo Fighters." <laughs> and then that's it. And then the movie ends. <laughs> and it ends. That's a good that's one. Awesome. You gave the ending away. Wow. <laughs> now, okay, uh, talking about success and everything. At, at which point in your careers did you realize, all right, Neon Trees, we've made it? See, I don't. No, it doesn't feel, I don't know, maybe we were too, have our feet too much on the ground, but I don't know if we've made it yet, because as much as success as we have, and we're in Singapore and playing a show tonight, um, we don't take it for granted, and I don't, I don't think we want to be a flash in the pan, mm. you know, I don't want to have a two-year career, I want to have as long as we can, and so... Um, you know, there's there's moments though where we've played we've played crazy shows and we feel that energy and we, and it feels like we're making another benchmark and um, so at, at that point I think I don't know if we've made it, mm -hmm. but um, I think we've we continually are, are surprising ourselves as we are on this adventure. So was there a particular moment where you were proudest of though? Like yeah, um, I think these last couple, uh, you know, all of our shows in Asia so far that we that we've done yeah. that they've all been just you know incredible responses uh -huh. and all the people have been amazing i think uh, awards are cool but i uh, we've won a couple of those and like we've gotten accolades from the industry but i, I think the coolest thing for me is uh, is like seeing fans mm. sing along and that's when i feel like i've accomplished something mm -hmm. 
like I, oh wow we've written a song that people are touched by or, or are making people feel good so honestly that's our yeah, biggest accomplishment you see too that it's you know it's more than one song that yeah. it's not just animal mm. that, yeah. we, that we can be playing and you hear people singing your surrender in 1983 uh sins of my youth yeah. you know it's great it really is it really is um actually you guys have been touring so much yeah uh you know, in between getting from point A to point B, do you guys ever play pranks on each other? Yeah, he. Um, we used to hide from each other. <laughs> we had this <laughs> thing. We had this thing where was, my name's Tyler, and he would go, "Hey Ty," but I would say "Hey Ty" to him too, and so we we were just trying to up the ante each time, and we would hide. Right. And he, um, there were moments. I think he has one on film where I literally like ah, <laughs> screamed, and there's one time where he's like, "Shit, man!" Ah, yeah, like, yeah. So it was like it was very horrifying, but um. We're probably the most playful because we, we kind of are like brothers. So, but um, but yeah, I think at the same time, you know, when you've gone too far because you can <laughs> see the face, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna leave you alone for ten minutes. So there's <laughs> so. no per particular mischievous person of the group. It's the two. Nah, I th I think we're all a little bit, but I think me and him are the most the as far as okay. like with each other. So okay. yeah, it's the most playful. Yeah. <laughs> What's the Neon Trees experience live? Uh, we always say it's not a spectator sport. Mm. Yeah. There's no sitting on the sideline or the crowd we, because we want it to be an exchange of energy with the crowd. And especially, you know, and Tyler is great at that. If mm. you're, you know, sitting in the back, you know, just kind of with your uh, with your nachos yeah. and, and drink and you know, I'm just going to watch the show. <laughs> you know, he'll stop the show and, and call you out. Well, and it's uh, never a call out like being like a bully, but it's a call out like. You know, reminding them, you know, you paid money, you know, come and let's have a good time. And yeah. I try to make sure that everyone's on leveling the playing ground and everyone's part of the same club for 40 minutes, you know, or an hour and let their hair down, mm -hmm. you know, Maybe. like a movie. Forget your troubles. <laughs> right. You, you've met so many cool people. Like you said, Green Day earlier as well. Yeah. Is there a band or a particular band or artist that you guys want to work with? You know, it's cool that um, I think I think some of these, these old... Uh, punk bands that have come to respect us like Green Day and like Bad Religion and um, Goldfinger and Social mm -hmm. Distortion like they're crazy it's crazy that some of these bands like think we're cool and so I think any of those bands would be crazy to work with and um, but I would also love to work with like a like a soul singer like Sharon Jones mm -hmm. and the Dab Kings or or Gladys Knight or something like that where it's just like really really soulful and collaborating that way because we love soul music so mm -hmm. something like that would be really cool uh, now that Habits has taken off and it's it's really really successful, uh, do you have anything else in the works? Anything down the pipeline? We do. We have we've written about half of our new record um, on our time, you know, in between time off. But um, yeah, it, I'm sure we'll record it sometime this fall. I think November or so, and be out next year. But we we love new music, so it's going to be fun to have new material for the show and to. I'm really happy with some of the songs, and I think they're even better than Habit Song, so wow. we're really happy about it. Yeah, we'll looking forward cool. to yeah it. we will be yeah. looking forward to it. Oh, cool. um, finally, uh, lastly, but not least, of course, is there anything you guys want to say to your fans here in Singapore? Of course, I mean, I just, personally, I just want to, um, <laughs> <laughs> we want to say, <laughs> voila, eh? <laughs> no, uh, thank you so much for the support. Um, Singapore was was never something I dreamt of going to this early on, and the fact that we're here and playing for you is uh, is really insane to me. So I'm so grateful to be in a band like this and be able to to do this. And uh, the, those that we've met are so sweet, and we're really excited to play for you. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we love you. A bunch of you came out today to the mall where we were, and they're awesome. And great dressers, too. The f uh, our fa our fans look the best. <laughs> okay, so all you other bands better run away. <laughs> Whoops. Hello, Tyler and Brandon here from Neon Trees. And we only choose 987 FM, only the hits. <laughs>